I need to report a stabbing. Somebody's being stabbed up in my bedroom right now. I can see him through the window. Okay, calm down. What's your location, sweetie? Oh my god. He's carving in like a pumpkin right now. Oh my god. Imagine if Michael Myers were actually a real person. It might be a nightmare for you, but I would actually love to be friends with the man himself. Thankfully, my wish could be coming true because we have two verified stories that prove the Boogeyman isn't just a movie villain. Let's get into these true scares. About three years ago, I delivered a pizza on Halloween night to this nice, quiet, suburban house. It was my final order of the day and I was ready to go home and purge my body of everything impure. So you'll imagine my delight when I knocked on the door in the mid- <clears throat> A very small woman came to the door in nothing but a robe. I gave her the total and she did the cliche, Oh, I don't have it. It must be in the left upstairs bedroom at the very end of the hall with the window that leads to an escape should anyone ever need to do so. My oblivious ass said, Okay, no problem. I'll wait. <laughs> I really am a dumbass sometimes, as you'll soon find out. Anyways, fast forward a few minutes and she somehow seduces me. I did indeed end up in her bed at the very end of the hall, with my hands and feet handcuffed to the bedpost while she was in the bathroom freshening up. I was dreaming about what was going to happen in my mind, but those dreams turned to nightmares once I heard the front door downstairs burst open. The small woman came out of the bathroom in a hurry. I asked her what the hell was going on as she went to peek out of the bedroom door. She mentioned something under her breath about whoever it was being back too early, and he's supposed to be, quote-unquote, busy tonight. Once we started hearing large footsteps coming up her wooden staircase, she turned around and, believe it or not, jumped out of the second floor window and onto the grass below. I'm terrified at this point because I'm still spread eagle in me underwears and cuffed to her bed. I then started hearing heavy muffled breathing like someone had a mask on. And he's getting closer. I'm kind of a sitting duck, obviously, so I just sort of lay quietly. Eventually, he walks past the cracked door frame, and I can clearly see it's somebody dressed in a freaking Michael Myers outfit. I figured it was maybe her son or something. He didn't even come into my room. He walked right past, looking straight ahead. I thought it weird, but I needed some help. So I bit the bullet and yelled for some assistance. And I started hearing those heavy footsteps slowly walk back toward my room. Eventually, Mike gets to my door and opens it, where he finds me laid bare like a whole raw chicken. I tried to explain myself, but still in character, the guy slowly tilted his head, before approaching the bed and slowly raising his knife. I nervously laughed, thinking he's about to untie me and let me out of this situation easy. That all changed once that blade pierced my tender body. His strength, his brutality, his evil nature, it all let me know that this small town pizza delivery guy was somehow in a room with the most brutal mass murderer in history. Anyways, I won't go into details, but I end up being stabbed 37 times. I mean, he really tried to gut me like a fish. How I survived, I have no idea. I passed out on the 11th stab. I'll be in a wheelchair for life, though. That's for friggin' sure. Afterward, I found out a couple of things. First off, that small woman was married to Michael Myers. Had I known that, I would have never touched that trick but she did call the cops after she jumped out of that window in fear. Oh my god, he's carving him like a pumpkin right now, oh my god. And I was saved not long after that. No word on where Michael went after that night. Him and his wife haven't been seen since. If she's still alive, that is. We all know Mike isn't the type to let things slide. My only piece of advice is this. If you see a guy in a Michael Myers costume this Halloween, be very careful. Happy Halloween, I guess. Oh, that's so sad. Sad Michael Myers didn't finish the job, that is. 
Let's move on to the next story. <laughs> Michael Myers is real, and he's dangerous as hell. Let me explain. I went to a Halloween party back in the day with a few friends, one of which was a girl I had a really big crush on. She went as a zombie stripper, meaning she just wore her normal work attire, or lack thereof. And I went as Freddy Krueger. Anyways, as everybody is dancing the night away, I slip away to the kitchen to down a six-pack of beer. I needed all the liquid courage I could get before I made a move on my beloved. As I'm doing so, I noticed a man about 6'3", six, 6'4", six, or something like that, dressed in all black, and a Michael Myers mask slip in through the back door. I didn't think it strange aside from the fact that I couldn't see his eyes. I thought it was a really good costume though. I walked over and told him that actually, but he just stared down at me until I walked back to the kitchen. I thought it was a little weird, but I figured he was just in character. He eventually started dancing to whatever music was playing at that point. I think it was uh, White Snake or some shit. As I'm downing my last beer at the kitchen counter, surveying the room with my glassy eyes, I turn and notice a guy dressed in an also impressive Jason costume. And he starts dancing with my girl, waving his machete around like an idiot. And I'm Freddy Krueger, so I already hate that freak, my sworn enemy. After I finished my last beer, I had enough liquid courage to go over and confront that behemoth about my beloved. I grabbed him by his rotten shoulder and asked him what the hell he was doing with my girl. He immediately uppercut me and I went flying like a football. While I was on the floor taking in what I thought were my final breaths, I briefly saw that dumbass Jason and my crush go off into a back room away from the party crowd, smacking her booty before putting a do not disturb sign on the doorknob and closing it. I fell unconscious right after, as some of my other friends in the crowd danced around my lifeless body. A couple hours later and I wake up in the passenger seat of a moving car. We're going through a lot of quiet suburban streets and I'm confused as hell. I look over and see that guy dressed as Michael Myers driving, staring at the road, in complete silence. I asked him what we were doing, and of course he said nothing. At this point I was sick of the Halloween shit and demanded answers. That's when he pointed to the back seat. I slowly looked to the back and saw Jason's severed head laying on the seat. I wanted to puke, but I remembered what happened earlier. The humiliation, the physical pain of his rotten fist making impact with my nose, the mental pain of him taking my girl to Pound Town. I thanked Michael, but he just stared straight, not making a sound. It was right about then that we pulled up to the front of my house. I tried to give him a fist bump, but he didn't budge. That all changed once I offered him some of my finest Mary Jane, to which he happily accepted. Not many people get to say they smoked a joint with the greatest slasher villain of all time, right? <laughs> Never did find out exactly what happened while I was out. I can only assume Double M had some sort of respect for me after I complimented him on what I thought was just a Halloween costume. Anyways, once we were finished, I finally gave him some dab before closing the car door, and he subsequently drove off into the night. If you've ever wondered if Michael Myers was a real man, let me give you an analogy. Remember WWE wrestling? <laughs> yeah, I rest my motherfucking case. That confirms it. Michael Myers is totally real. Man, I want to be friends with that guy so badly. Let's judge these two stories. Story number one. Those 89 stabs weren't for nothing. I can assure you. Story number two. Good tension, but you let Jason steal your girl. Could never be me. Looks like we have a winner. But what does that mean for this guy? His crime? Claiming Art the Clown is a better slasher than Michael Myers. 
Admit your mistakes and we'll let you go right now. To keep it all the way funky, no homo. But I'd rather suck a dick. Suit yourself, bitch. Happy Halloween indeed. Let me ask our guests. How does it feel to know Michael Myers is a real man? Does it frighten you? It should. 